Sea snakes are deadly creatures. We couldn't leave a sea snake swimming close to the flags, no. Um, the preferred option would be to get it out of the water completely. Just a few milligrams of sea snake venom is enough to kill 1,000 adults. They're the most venomous snake in the world. Any update, Tommy? Tommy's a young guy. Some of the, the, the newer members to the team are, are eager to impress, you could say. It's only after Tommy volunteers that he gets all the facts. Yeah, they are super deadly. Um, his exercise all too caution. The second Dino said deadly, that's where I realised I've um, I messed up. People have died from sea snake bites. It's a fact. Yeah, kind of. Just playing with deadly creatures. I'm not scared of snakes. Ah! At least I didn't think I was. That's on the deck. After quickly paddling out, Tommy realises he won't be catching the sea snake with his bare hands. New lifeguard Jules has a solution. Troy's gone out to catch the snake with his crate. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it looks like the clubbies have got Tommy in the IRB and he might scoop it up. <laughs> Look at that. With the pressure mounting, Tommy turns to his previous experience as a tradie. Being a carpenter, I knew there's a tool for every job. And when I was in the boat, I seen the paddle, and I was like, that's the tool for this job. He reached in and grabbed it with the oar and flicked it into the bucket. Job done. Like a true snake wrangler. They have the snake. <laughs> Capturing the sea snake and nobody harmed was the best case scenario. Thank you. Okay. Tommy! You hero, hi back. Turns out I'm scared of snakes. <laughs> You're a legend. Oh, it's not very well. You just need some rest. Eventually we had a snake catcher come along and pick him up. It's not often we find these things. Um, they're fairly venomous as well. The snake actually recovered, which was really good, and he was released later that day in a secluded beach at the harbour. Just around the corner from Bondi at Bronte, we've been called for a dangerous threat, a big shark in the pool. We've got a predator amongst us. I've got to get it out. I'm going to go down and I'm going to remove the shark. I'm a shark hunter. It's alive. This is a rescue mission, everyone. I know, I know. It's not what we're here for. Oh we... my god. Lifeguards don't just save lives, all right? That's not just humans. We help the animals too, you know? The shark... Yeah, he's an oddball, Harry. He's the, um, you know, he can talk to the kids on the same level. He's, he's pretty out there. When I dove under and seen the shark, he could have dived straight into my hairstyle. <laughs> that, that's shark repellent, so I don't get bit. I could tell that everyone started to actually enjoy what I was up to. You know, I went from that entertainer to the shark hunter from the shark hunter to the tadpole catcher. Oh, he's got his teeth out! There was a baby wobby gong. It wasn't known as a man-eater. Yeah, if it had been any smaller, it would have probably slipped through the net. Oh, no! We've got to put him back! No. He's got to go home. Say goodbye, everyone! No. Oh, no. There he goes. Oh. Oh. Rescued many people, but never rescued a shark, so... That's great. I have we've just got a phone call and yeah, there's a um, rat up in the bowl, so might throw on some gloves and do a bit of a Steve Irwin up there. A rat in the skater bowl? No. I saw it in the manual. It's a pretty big scene up here, there's people everywhere, so we're gonna come up and if it's not too vicious, we'll try and catch it, throw on a pair of gloves and do our dirty work. I can't believe the cops are here dealing with it. Yeah, it's a bit, a bit, diff, a bit different saving a rat than a human. It's most probably going to be harder. 
When I get to the skate bowl, the coppers are doing nothing. So I was kind of like, it's a rat. Like, I'll do it. Like, who cares? Drop in, Jess. <laughs> Why did I drop into the bowl with no shoes on? That's just plain old Jesse just doing things before he thinks. I wasn't going to touch it. <laughs> I was going near it. I just held the bucket behind it and it just slid straight in. Job done. How easy was that? As soon as I looked at it, it was just eye contact and it was just like, bang, let's go. And I was kind of like, whoa. I didn't think rats were vicious. Oh, my God! That was so funny. <laughs> 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 oh, my God! What's the dance, man? I'll go with myself. Definitely, I knew it wasn't my jacket. As if I'd use my jacket to put on a rat. <laughs> So funny. You had it in a bucket and it jumped and you hit it again. And it was like, <laughs> it's not even my jacket, I just put it on. So. <laughs> it's probably mine. No name. Oh, hang on. Chris Chapman. <laughs> Chapman. The Lifeguards Operations Manual is a very important book, but I definitely don't think there's anything about catching rats out of a bowl at the skate park. Rat rescue. I need to wash your jacket, chat. <laughs> not happy, yeah? No, not happy. Eight rats. Three stingrays have invaded the pool at high tide. It's the lifeguard's job to evict them. But the barbs in their tails can inflict serious injury. Put it in. Put it in there. Put it in there. Bacon collars the smallest one. Two more to go. Some high technology and plain bravado snare the rest. The nippers are just happy that no one was nipped. They're fast, they're pretty fast they pretty and they're quick. elusive. Yeah, I was just watching bacon. I don't really wrestle stingrays that often, so I just saw Funnily it. enough, I saw in, um, when I was down the coast, some Aboriginal guys, they just stick their fingers straight in their mouth. That's what I was trying to do. They didn't have very big mouths, these ones. <laughs> I couldn't really get my <laughs> fat fingers in there. Former rugby international Matt Burke is on another rescue mission. Oh, I just had a report. It's a couple of seagulls that have um, tangled themselves up with some fishing line. Burkey played 23 tests on the wing for Australia. So how does a wallaby catch a seagull? Ah. <laughs> oh no, <laughs> that didn't work. Ah. Oh, so many hooks in it. your wing, buddy. Good job, good job. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Animal rescue. A highly venomous sea snake is visiting Bondi. Swimming between the flags is no longer safe. Bacon's a big was put Bacon, bacon grills. Hey, buddy, there's a snake right there. A sea snake. Mate, I am that scared of snakes. I'm so glad I'm not down there. I'm, I'm with you with that one, Chavo. Yeah, I'm so scared of them as well. I hope it doesn't come ashore. I've never seen a snake on Bondi Beach before. I heard there have been snakes, but I've never seen one in the water. I thought it was a bit of seaweed at first, but um, yeah, it turns out it was a snake. Thought it was dead and then its head popped up. It's kind of a little bit freaky, but eh, it's Bondi. The tropical snake may have drifted from northern Australia in a warm current. Shedding its skin and clearly tired, it is still a danger to swimmers. Uh, Channel Lifeguard, Bondi Lifeguard. According to uh, Emma Summer 2, there's no antidote to a sea snake and you will die with under 10 seconds of water. Yeah, I know that one. Yeah, I was under the impression that sea snakes were extremely venomous. Yeah, but they are. I was under the impression that sea snakes were extremely venomous, but due to their small fangs, 
they were unlikely to pierce the skin. Brave or foolhardy, Bacon decides the snake has to go. Whips off his head, mate. He's so close to it. <laughs> Of its kind for the boys in blue. He's so tired. They've battled the surf for like 10 minutes, just getting smashed. It's obviously been sick or something, so needs to get looked after. Hey, Jay, why don't you put it on that side? Mate, I don't want to get anywhere near Ed. Yeah, put the down and I'll flick it in with the. Just put it on the ground, yeah. <laughs> No, can you hold that in? No, I'm not holding that in. <laughs> <laughs> the sea snake is on its way to Taronga Park Zoo. Oh, hey, hey, I can't even believe I'm doing this. It will be released back into the wild. That snake was pretty sick, you know, and it needed help. Uh, so I wasn't too worried about it uh, biting me. Obviously, I was a bit scared, hesitant, because they are a really deadly snake, and I knew that before I went out there. So between uh, stingrays in the kids' pool, and uh, snakes in the beach, you know, maybe I'll maybe I'll get a name change soon from uh, bacon to grilled bacon, bear grilled bacon. Yeah, we've got a Port Jackson shark in the pool here. Uh, maybe a fisherman's throwing it in here as a joke, or uh, it's washed in with a high tide. It's uh, definitely causing a bit of commotion with the public. <laughs> we've got to get it out. Sharks and kiddies' pools aren't a good mix, even though it's small. A Port Jackson shark can bite if provoked. Oh. <laughs> Looking for Jane now. Harry's remains characteristically brave in the face of danger. Oh, get me out of the water! <laughs> Just got to have eyes in your back of your head at this stage. Or better still, a lifeguard who's braver than you. When it comes to animals, lifeguards are less familiar with rescue techniques. Look at that! Yeah. Take up the, Look at that! Take up the hook! Pull the hook up! I'll hold him, you take it out. The shark has a hook and trace caught in its mouth. No, it's stuck. Can you hold his head? And I'll... It's just too tight, isn't it? Yeah, give him a kiss and, and chuck him back in. Give the little bugger a kiss. The hook will eventually rust out. What the shark really needs is to get back in the water. I sense potential danger and I feel it on my skin, but at no stage was I threatened by the creature within. <laughs>